I never thought I'd see this day come. The Penguins have bought out the remaining three years of Jack Johnson's contract, which means he is no longer a Penguin. But before we do get into Jack Johnson, I want to give my thoughts on Tristan Jari re-signing. It happened a few days ago, but I never had the chance to make a video. So since we're here now, might as well you know, take a few minutes and give my thoughts on it. So as we all know now, a few days ago, the Penguins have re-signed Tristan Jari to a three-year deal worth $3.5 million per season. That means the Penguins have found their starting goalie for the next three years and also means Matt Murray has played his last game as a Penguin. I actually love this Tristan Jari contract. I knew it was going to be a bridge deal. Originally, I thought it was going to be a two-year deal. The fact that we got him on that third deal is what makes me love this contract. At only $3.5 million per season for your starting goalie who's only 25 years old, I have absolutely no problem with that. And the fact that he can actually even get better... This is a steal of a deal. And even if Tristan Jari doesn't get better and just plays at how he played this season, this is still a great contract. He played more than well enough to help this team win games. And now you don't have to worry about your starting goalie for the remaining years of this Crosby Malkin window. I just love everything about this contract. You're not over committing. You know, at the end of this deal, he'll only be 28. It's just overall a win win in my books. If he doesn't work out, it doesn't matter. It's only a three-year deal. You can trade it if you have to, or you just let him walk when it's over. Or he works out, gets better, and now all of a sudden you have maybe an elite top 10 goalie in the league at a $3.5 million per season contract for the next three years. Now all that we wait for is Matt Murray. What are they going to get back for him? Where is he going to get traded to? Uh, I don't think they trade for another goalie. I think Casey DeSmith is more than good enough to be the backup. That'll definitely be interesting. But while we do wait for that, let's get into some more good news, and that is the Penguins buying out Jack Johnson. You do not understand how excited I am when I saw this information come out. I thought we were going to be stuck with Jack Johnson for the entire five years of his contract. And just like that, the Penguins are a better team today than they were yesterday. And I know a lot of people probably think this is an overreactment. Like, it's just one player. How bad was he really, you know? For those who say that, you don't understand how bad this was for the Penguins. Obviously, it's not just one player. It's a whole team. But imagine trying to win when you play an anchor on your team 20 minutes a night and this is not a small sample size either we've seen it now for two years that whoever's on the ice with jack johnson is worse than when they're on the ice with anybody else obviously i get the argument you need a whole team to win it's not just jack johnson how does this make them that much better it's just one player obviously i get all that but try winning when you play your worst player 20 minutes a night try winning like that you simply can't and we've seen it like i said two years of evidence first round exits both times and technically the penguins didn't even lose in the first round this year they lost in the play-in so technically they didn't even make the playoffs this just gets me so excited because now i have full hope that we can actually do something in these last two three years in the crosby malkin window no longer getting dragged down by a bad player obviously like i said he's not the problem but he was a problem that we got rid of so here's a breakdown of the buyout the penguins have to pay six years now for the next three years just under two million and for the last three years just under one million and to be honest i could care less i really don't you know i'd rather pay six years to have jack johnson off the team than three years of having him on the team and anchoring this team down and this does also free up some cap space the penguins now have 4.7 million dollars to spend in free agency that's good enough to sign a solid player now i personally would rather sign a top nine forward a forward who could play on the third line and just provide some good depth but also could be bounced around throughout the lineup if needed you know with injuries and all that you know a guy who can jump on the first line with Sid you know maybe play in the second line somebody like that but overall would be nice to keep him on the third line honestly with what I just described Connor Sheary I would not be mad if they can sign him at an affordable deal less than three million if not you know, try to find something in free agency. But that's what I would do. I don't even think they're going to sign a forward. I think they're probably going to go with their original plan and sign that right-handed defenseman, maybe even Chris Tanev. I heard some uh, talks about that. I'm just overall very excited. But anyways, that's going to be a wrap on the video. Uh, let me know down below what you think the Penguins should do with this extra cap space. And like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.